Welcome to the Lotus Goddess Divine Love. Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Welcome back everyone. Welcome if you're new to my channel. I did Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, Twin Flame Journey Charm readings. And let's begin and just keep in mind that this is a general reading. Let's see what messages comes through. And these readings are timeless, so if this doesn't resonate, that's okay. You can have a look at one of my other readings. Let's see what comes through. Ooh, this this reading, um, it shows here that a decision has been made. I feel this decision was made by Divine Masculine. It says, a decision has been made. I see Divine Masculine as focus on Divine Feminine. There was, I see Karmic in this reading. There's so many things happening in this reading. Okay, let me start from the beginning. <laughs> um, I see Divine Masculine here. There was something that happened recently that put an end to a connection relationship. So this is somebody who's who has recently separated from a karmic person or is soon to separate from this karmic person because the energy in this reading shows very fresh. That's the, the first thing I see here is that there is some sort of separation, a, a very shocking um it's like out of, out of nowhere that this takes place. A decision was instantly made by Divine Masculine to move towards Divine Feminine. So whatever this was, it fully awakened this Masculine to see the truth. It shows here that the moment that this thing took place, Divine Masculine um, came to a very strong realization that this thing needs to come to a close, that there is no more time to waste on a situation that is over basically over so i see here that this divine masculine doesn't want to put any more thought energy uh, feelings in this connection with this karmic person divine masculine is starting to put things together it shows here that when divine masculine believed he was happy so believed and thought he was happy in the past with this karmic person he now realized that this karmic person was being very unfair about a few things he is now um it shows something about knowing some sort of truth that this karmic person was unfair they did something that was unfair something that was that has to do with the past I feel like some sort of information that was given to Divine Masculine even may have been shared with family members in some sort of way. There is something about information that was not shared with Divine Masculine. Oh, there was a message here. Some sort of message that should have made it to Divine Masculine in the past was not shared with Divine Masculine. Some of these family members may have withheld information or hid information from divine masculine's information that was very important that would have would have um changed this divine masculine's um i feel like view of divine feminine something about him not knowing something about you divine feminine that was withheld from divine masculine so some family members knew something that should have been shared with divine masculine because this was not shared with divine masculine he made a decision or um his view of divine feminine was a little bit different than what it should have been i feel like he misunderstood divine feminine that's what happened here it shows here that if that information was shared with divine masculine he would have put more effort into the connection with you because these family members, I feel it was Divine Masculine's family members here. 
But it shows here that there's two sets of families that were involved. So some had to do with Masculine's family, but Masculine's family is the one that hid the information from Masculine, but also Divine Feminine's family here, um, but in a different way. Uh, Divine Feminine's family shows here that Divine Feminine's family knew that you two were very strongly um, connected, that there was a possibility of you two coming together, but did not really... Um, did not really put in the effort because of Divine Masculine and Divine Masculine's family. So if that makes any sense for whoever this resonates for. But it shows here, it's like Divine Feminist family is like, okay, why should we put in the effort if we already know that Masculine and his family are not for it? So why should we say anything? Why should we get involved in this? That sort of thing. Maybe we should just let it be. I feel like they didn't, they didn't say anything and they didn't do anything to um, to make it happen or to make it work, to try to bring you two together. Because it's like, if they're not putting in the effort, you can't, you can't, um, um, it's like, if you want a steady, strong relationship, it needs to be equal, right? On both ends. So same with this, Divine Masculine's family, including Divine Masculine, was not really really um, working towards holding this connection, right? To make it stronger between you and masculine, right? So Divine Feminist Family is like, okay, so if they are not putting in the effort, maybe we should, we should, um, I feel like they didn't really put any energy into it. And at the same time, they, it's like, let it be. That That's what I feel like, let it be, let it play out. What is meant to be will be. That kind of thing. But it shows here that if this Divine Masculine knew what he was supposed to know, some sort of important information about Divine Feminine, then his view of Divine Feminine would have been different. There's some sort of misunderstanding on Divine Masculine's part. He misunderstood something about Divine Feminine. But now he sees that the, the kar karmic situation in the past it was something that was very unfairly um, done or said or connected that has to do with his decision making. So it's like if I knew what I, what I should have known then about my divine feminine, then maybe my decision would have been different. I would have put some more effort into building the connection with divine feminine rather than moving towards the karmic person and this Divine Masculine recognizes that that was very unfairly done on their part, as well as something was unfairly done from this karmic person. So there's two, two things that were not fair that was done in the past. Divine Masculine feels that when he was building um, some sort of... Um, relationship with this karmic person at that moment he felt happy shows here some sort of happiness he thought that he was lucky i know some of you don't want to hear this but that's what it's showing here so this mask when he connected with this karmic person he thought he was lucky he thought okay my dreams will come true this is somebody who this is what it is this is somebody who is standing up for me so I feel like this masculine misunderstood something about Divine Feminine, that Divine Feminine is not as serious about me as I thought she was. Divine Feminine is not standing up for the connection. Divine Feminine is not um, holding on to the connection. But something was hidden, withheld from Divine Masculine to make him believe that. Made him believe that this karmic person really cares for you. That this person is really standing up for your connection relationship this is the one this is the person who is going to stand by you but i feel and what i see here that this divine feminine did a lot to hold on to the connection to build a connection but this divine masculine didn't see all the effort didn't see all the work didn't see all the energy that divine feminine was putting into the connection it's like somebody i feel divine feminine your energy was too nice, too good. You trusted in the connection so much so that you felt that Divine Masculine knows me. 
Divine Masculine knows how much I love him. Divine Masculine knows how much I would do for the connection. But because it was not openly communicated as much as I feel this karmic person really went out of their way to prove themselves as somebody who would stand up for Divine Masculine. They tried to show, show more. And this is where this Divine Masculine realized he, he misunderstood the Divine Feminine. Because Divine Feminine, you did a lot of things, but you did not, um, I feel like you did not boast about it. You did not, um, it's like, look at all the things I've done. Look, I did this, this, and this, and this, and this for you. Divine Feminine is not like that. Divine Feminine is a queen, a princess, a, a king, a prince, whether you're male or female. When you do something, you do it with the goodness of your heart. You do it open-heartedly, right? And you have the love, the trust that what I'm giving to you is, it will show, it will show in itself. I don't need to announce it to the world how much I love you, right? It is subtle, right? But it, it is with impact, it's intense. But this karmic person is the opposite. They do very little, but they have huge announcements. You see, they speak volumes, to prove that I'm standing up for you. Look what I have done for you, Divine Masculine. I've done this for you. I've done this for you. I've done this for you. This Divine Masculine mistaken that, that volume, speaking loudly, announcements, as somebody who is really standing up for, the, for them, for Divine Masculine. But Divine Feminine was very subtle, very peaceful. But their actions spoke volumes they when they did something it's like they didn't have to announce it the 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 answers are in the results you see it's like they always have it's like i don't need to i don't need to boast i don't need to uh, speak out loud to show who i am to to prove to the world who I am because who I am and what I am it will naturally show it will speak volumes in itself but this karmic individual literally spoke in volume <laughs> I feel like they spoke a lot big 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 words big talk it's like masculine I'm, I've done this I've done this look what I'm doing for you divine masculine look what I'm doing for us Right? So this Divine Masculine heard this person's voice. It's like, this person's really doing a lot for me. They're going to make my dreams come true. I'm so lucky I have somebody who's standing up for me this much. And I feel like it has a lot to do with, um, I feel the, the uh, energy connected to the volume, to the sound, has to do with um, showing some sort of like, trying to show some sort of strength or um, in the energy trying to show some sort of power um, to make this divine masculine feel energetically masculine. Yes, he felt some sort of power in the voice of this karmic person, but it was not of a higher vibration, right? This is kind of like, um, it's like speak so loud that divine masculine cannot not overlook it so that divine masculine cannot not hear it you know but divine feminine is so subtle that some things were overlooked but the intensity of divine feminine's love was always there has always been there i feel it was more with grace more gentle more more pure more honest more more loving more it it feels like nurturing in a nurturing way and he misunderstood divine feminine's true feelings for divine masculine so it shows here that this divine masculine at that time with this karmic person felt very happy they felt like okay this is somebody who who is standing up for me this is someone i can rely on this is somebody who i feel very lucky to be with because they're standing up for our relationship somebody who will make things happen somebody who will meaning that will make my dreams come true 
We can build together. We can grow together. Now this Divine Masculine's like, wow. I really, I really didn't think this went through. I really misunder misunderstood Divine Feminine because it shows here that there was information that this masculine did not know of. If he had known, he would have understood who Divine Feminine was. And he must be thinking like, he should have understood me. He should have known. But I feel like the volume of this, this karmic energy was so loud that he could not hear he could not hear the the loyalty the the honesty the um the devotion of divine feminine's love in the connection he could not hear it shows here that if he had known this information he would have worked towards the connection with divine feminine he wouldn't have he wouldn't have rushed. It shows here not rush into a connection with a karmic person. He would have worked a little bit harder, meaning putting the effort, trying to understand divine feminine better. Um, because I feel like this divine masculine didn't understand divine feminine um, at all. And also he didn't want to even put in the effort to try to understand. But if he had known what he was supposed to know, if this family members would have shared what they should have shared with Divine Masculine because it was meant to be shown to Divine Masculine at that time, he would have um, he would have seen Divine Feminine in a different light. But because he walked, what I feel and what I see here, because he walked away from Divine Feminine not knowing what he was supposed to know about Divine Feminine, his um, his view of divine feminine was different. And when he went into the connection with this karmic person, it made it a little bit easier for him to, I feel like settle in that, that energy. Because there was nothing that was like, make him feel that, that maybe I should rethink this. If he had known that information and then settled with this karmic person, that would have been in the back of his mind. He would have been thinking that, why did, why did I not see this before? Or why, why did this take place? I should, I should communicate this with my feminine. I should get to know this better. Something like that. So it shows here that there was not much clarity when this divine masculine walked in from one connection into another with this karmic person. There was no clarity. The communication um, stopped on Divine Masculine's part. He didn't want to communicate when he um, moved towards a karmic person. His intention was to start new without knowing the truth about what his connection with Divine Feminine really was. He, he didn't understand it. Um, it shows that this Divine Masculine was being guided by the Divine to um, really understand the decision that he made and to really uh, look at the connection with this karmic person, meaning that the decision that he made to move towards this karmic person, the divine tried to show divine masculine that, look, you need to really look into this and look at the past. Look at the past between you and this person. Look at the past between you and divine feminine. The past was really important here in this reading because the past would have revealed a lot to the Divine Masculine, but he got so involved in this energy that he really didn't want to think about the past. He wanted to move forward. He wanted to start fresh. He wanted to start new. But it took this, this realization for this Divine Masculine to wake up, to really focus on Divine Feminine. And at this point in this reading, the energy in this reading, this Divine Masculine is facing Divine Feminine, meaning that his focus is only on Divine Feminine. He's only seeing Divine Feminine at this time because he's come to that realization that the past, certain things he had overlooked and certain things that he should have um, put in some sort of effort towards, he, he did not. And now this Divine Masculine is like, okay, now that I know what I'm supposed to know, now that I see Divine Feminine who, for who they really are, it's like, now how do I um, reconnect with this Divine Feminine? So they've made a decision that they want to be with Divine Feminine. They've closed off the old cycle in this reading. They closed it off. 
they are working towards towards movement that is building something with divine feminine to start a new connection they know that you two have a very strong bond they they are worried that divine feminine no longer feels the same way for them some of them um they feel that divine feminine has moved on or has forgotten them and i see here that this divine masculine is tired of things always like always not working out the way that they plan but this masculine is starting to realize that maybe those things didn't work out because they were not meant to be. So this is the reading for today. I hope you like this reading. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment below. And thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Bye, everyone.